Hey everybody, Dave Nassi here at Next Level Guitar. How you doing? Today we're gonna have a really fun acoustic inspired by lesson today. This song is not typically played acoustically, but um, by one of my favorite bands. Probably wouldn't expect it if you've uh, seen me do some of these other videos here at Next Level. But there's so much melody here in this song and so much we can learn from the way that we can play these chords. Couldn't pass it up. Hey everybody, I gotta say it. Below in that YouTube text box, you see a great link. I want you to click on that link. What do you get when you click on it? You get a free video that's not available on YouTube and it comes with a coinciding ebook that's got all these great scales and chord diagrams and everything that you need to know. And all you gotta do is just click on that link that you see there and you get it all for free. This song here is a really cool mixture of some chords that we play all the time. So uh, I wanna talk about just our basic voicings of our chords that we're gonna use. So this chord right here that we're gonna use I like to use my thumb to voice this chord. So this is kind of different. We're using technique today. And really what I'm focusing on is, I mean, if I played it any other way, I guess I could have my finger here on F sharp and then my finger on the F sharp here and then my A, but that looks a little mudded up. And I skip the B string all together and I just separately play that nice sounding melody. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this chord here and this is another way that we could, you know, take an E power chord. But my E is traveled from the high string being open to this fretted note. And I like chords that do that. And I like melodies that do that because it keeps a common tone. But I can do some different melodies with it as I go to this chord. So as we go through this Inspired by Lesson today, that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this song, certainly not play it the way they did, but we're gonna be inspired by what the movement of the chords are and how we can embellish them. So we're gonna start, of course, with this one. We'll recap, we'll go to this dude, and then we have a B minor seven. We can roll here, and have a nice little intro to kick it off and that's gonna hit the A string open and I'm gonna hammer really quickly from my B to my C sharp and I can go to a any of those notes you know I could go to an open string I can go to a fretted E but that lick just the way that it functions with these chords, it resolves so well to that when I put my thumb on that F sharp. So you can do any incarnation of the above. Doesn't matter. You go to this really nice chord. Now, you know, this is a tricky chord to play. Definitely looks like you're on the cover of a magazine when you're playing that chord. So if you go into a music store, fret it and you'll get some help right away. We go to our B minor seven. I might actually hammer. I like to slide off of that. It's a good way to get some melody. Brought my pinky out to the A. So licks that I can play while I'm messing around with that are all going to be centered around my F sharp minor pentatonic. because it's just gonna be really good filler. And that lick right there. tricky because I got to get my fingers there and that's where we're gonna learn some neat techniques from an inspired by like this where we're playing some pretty common chords but we're just gonna try to fill in some spaces now a lot of times when um, doing lessons like this to solo with a rhythm what I recommend you to do is even maybe just play the chords and if you can record them or loop them in any way what you're gonna do is try to put a lick in that would time perfectly with a change. And you're not playing chords at that point, so you'd be soloing over yourself. And you might go. 
-hmm. and you would just see where it's placed before you try to do both of the instruments at the same time, you know, yourself. And basically the moral of that story is record the progression, practice licks that you like, and then try to squeeze them in so you sound like two guitar players, so to speak, you know, as you go through it. I love that. Right there on the fifth fret there, going five to seven. And I'm going to throw this in there. So that lick right there, so we have a little bit more of a, uh, you know, technique in this. I can pick that. I'm going to hammer my double stop. I'm only hammering on the third, uh, second string with my third finger. I'm going to go here. And I like that. It's kind of like a D shape. But as I hammer up, I'm going to take this. I'm going to slide it down to F sharp. So I get Now I've had to use my pinky because if I go like this that's too much changing for a guy like me. I was just going to go ahead and use my pinky. It'll be easier. Then back to regular phrases and I know we're playing a country tune but it just adds a nice element and this guitar player part of the reason why he's one of my favorites I gotta say it he was a metal guy started out as a metal guy and now he's in country music so to build it up and kind of maybe be inspired by what the chorus does again we're gonna change it a little bit but we're gonna use a regular F sharp minor we're gonna go to a D now, I've already been playing this D in certain ways, kind of, maybe, so I'm going to do it different. I'm going to lift up my middle finger. Then my A. So that's how we're going to mess around with that a little bit. And every time this comes up, I might fret it a little bit differently. I'm not a huge fan when I'm, uh, you know, experiencing playing by myself like this where I don't like to play them the same way every time. If I'm familiar with a minor seven chord. Now maybe I'll play a regular D chord. You know, that's always nice to do. Really just a nice little pull off on the D. Again, another phrase. So if you're by yourself strumming this, maybe you strum these chords regular. Then we're gonna go to our A. Put a lick in before you go to E. And it could be different every time. You could try ones that we did at the beginning of the lesson with. Or maybe something that's familiar or any of these really melodic phrases you know that you could do within your pentatonic scale I mean that's a pretty common one too right what you're really thinking you know I mean it sounds cool when I hit the B string too On the spot, I'm going to take this somewhere else just for a minute, but not get too far away. You know, you take these chords, I hit the B string by accident, and suddenly I just wanted to go like this. And I'm just changing it, you know, but I'm being inspired by what they did, and, and that might evolve into an idea of my own. But it was just by playing the chord, hit that note, and I liked the way that sounded, and it made me think of something different. So that's the advantage I think you get sometimes when you learn other people's songs. The idea is you want to learn somebody's song and be inspired by it and not just play their song for the sake of doing so. So today's lesson is pretty simple. We have some good voicings, some fancy looking fret work, some cool licks. Concept that every time we play chords we do them a little bit different and that is our inspired by lesson people go to the website nextlevelguitar.com i'm on it
so many other people are on it. It's a good website. Go there, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.